the Selco Group of Associations envisions a socially sustainable society. The various arms of Selco through the Selco Foundation and the Selco Incubation Center seek to create avenues for asset building and wealth creation that will uplift deprived and underserved sections of society through sustainable energy applications. The mission of the Selco Incubation Center under its parent entity Selco and the Small Scale Sustainable Infrastructure Development Fund is to provide direction, technical and financial support and knowledge sharing to new social entrepreneurs in the field of solar energy. Pushin is a social enterprise based in Madhya Pradesh that brings solar power to the people's doorstep in rural areas in remote parts of the state. Their aim is to empower people, particularly women, through sustainable energy solutions. Dr. Susmita Bhattacharji is the founder and managing director of Pushin and is currently an incubator under the Selco Incubation Center. The focus of the Selco Lab is to train, support and nurture entrepreneurs who are technologically inclined and are interested in creating small enterprises for their innovations, independently owned but with guidance from Selco. I'm Susmita Bhattacharji. Um, I'm, I'm from Indore. And that's where I started uh, a social enterprise for providing electricity to people who do not have access to energy. I chose that I want to do this, providing this off-grid solution to, um, to people who have limited or no access to power, because that's what is the need. Pushan means it's a um, uh, Vedic word, it's a Sanskrit word, and in Vedic times, it was the name of a solar deity. So it literally means one who helps people to thrive. There, is, there are two technologies on solar. One is using the light energy, the other is using the heat energy. And what we are, I'm working on, or Pushan is doing, is on the technology that uses the light energy of the sun. Because of this poor quality of grid, and uh, not enough production capability, we always have a deficit of energy. And then who are at this deficit, energy deficit? Generally people who are also economically at the bottom of the pyramid. The training during the incubation comprises of on-field exposure as being attached to a successful operational entity like Selco gives the lab access and the know-how to expose potential entrepreneurs to practical scenarios. Sheikh Ahmed Madlur is a fruit vendor who banks with the Karnataka Vikas Grameen Bank. He supplements his income by providing solar lighting to local market vendors. Selco provided him with the solar lamps, batteries, equipment and expertise to set up a charging unit at his home. Many vendors feel that the change from chimney lamps that is gas or kerosene lamps to solar powered lamps is good for their business as the solar lamps do not leak or smell and affect their produce as well as a marked saving on fuel expenditure. Selco has forged partnerships with numerous regional rural banks or Grameen banks, commercial banks, NGOs and rural farmer cooperatives to develop financial solutions for sustainable energy that match the cash flow of the target client base in rural India. Pushan works in the same way and have partnered with Grameen banks as well as providing support to its customers to obtain the necessary credit to purchase solar power systems. Here, the Selco team does an installation for a street lamp powered by solar energy and demonstrates to Susmita the details of a typical Selco installation. She is also provided with technical knowledge and specification regarding the designs of the mounting structures, angle of the solar panels, checking the specific gravity of the battery cells, etc. Another installation takes place at the home of a farmer who wishes to use solar electrification to light up his home and farm. The CFLs are wired and placed in the bedroom, the kitchen where his wife spends most of her day, and the cowshed. The intention of the on-ground training is to highlight the need for customization and to tailor affordability with products and design in accordance to each customer's needs. A critical portion of the mentoring is a focus on a business philosophy which seeks to delicately balance social needs with building a financially sustainable business. And 
then one day I got a call from Ashish. How are you doing? I want to come to see you. For me, that was such a big surprise. Then I found out that they have this Selco incubation center now, and now they can provide the help, which I really, really need. After that, Ravi Kant, who is the marketing person of the incubation center, he has already gone there. Uh, I'm getting support from Arun regarding the fundings where I can apply. Um, I will also get support in terms of how do you negotiate with the bank, how do you lobby and influence their policies, because we are depending on the bank quite a lot. This is a technology that can be like something like a mobile phone, that today the mobile phone has done a revolution in India, whereas if you, can we imagine having that same number of telephone lines if we had uh, landline connections. Sushmita meets with Ashish Kumar Sahu, Ravikant Rao, and Arun Patre of the Selco Incubation Center. These members of the center's senior management will collaboratively help Sushmita in devising a long-term plan for Pushan in terms of allocating time, money, and manpower in a feasible way. She will also be provided a comprehensive analysis of her business opportunities with guidance from the center management to keep the core of her energy enterprise's mission intact. Selco, along with nascent enterprises like Pushan, work towards making solar power a viable source of energy for those sections of society that are typically off the grid. Their work aims at dispelling the myth that the poor cannot afford or maintain sustainable technologies. The Selco Incubation Center is at the forefront of uniting social change with financial success and heralds a new day of socially responsible entrepreneurship in the sustainable energy sector.